another useless skill. So I've been watching a couple movies. I'm on, I'm not gonna lie, and I have not been reviewing them. I've been kind of chilling. It was a, a long, hard stretch these last couple months to like working wise. And I also haven't been free a lot. I've been dealing a lot with my son and we've been doing a bunch of stuff. So I just I have not been free to make videos, but I'm trying to free up some time. I'm going to make more videos. There's other stuff coming down the line. I'm going to try to also review shows that I'm watching like Fallout, which is great on Prime. If you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. There's other stuff that I'm going to review, but basically, oh, oh, uh, Baby Reindeer on Netflix. If you haven't watched that, that's crazy watch. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's start with Immaculate. So this is a double, uh, a Sweeney double feature, let's say, right? I haven't watched Madam Web, so <laughs> I have nothing to say on Madam Web. But uh, the, the double feature right now is Anyone But You and Immaculate. I've seen both movies very recently. Immaculate, uh, I saw in theaters because it still was playing in theaters and I was like, hey, let me check it out. And because uh, I was bored and it was the next one up. And then Anyone But You is on Netflix if you guys want to check it out. So uh, let's start with Immaculate. So story, plot, and premise. I like it. I do like the story. I like the plot. I thought this was going to be a certain movie, but then it kind of diverted and became not really, uh, it's not really about ghosts. If you guys think it's about ghosts, it's not really about ghosts. They kind of have like ghosts in it, but it's not really technically ghosts. It's more of a cult film. And, uh, yeah, I, I love the, I love Cindy Sweeney in it. I love the professor from, uh, Money Heist is in this, plays the bad guy, really, really great. Um, yeah, story plan premise, I loved. Uh, the sound design is really good. I, I liked it. There was nothing that really stood out as, like, thing, but the eerie stuff that happens, especially at the end when there's, like, tunnels and stuff, it's, like, really creepy. It, it's really good. It's really good. Uh, cinematography. I like it. You know, it's a nice little location. I like the shots were really good like everything that that they that like the scares or not the scares but like the stuff that happened like the f messed up stuff that happens in the movie they play it really well i really like it um the acting again top notch sydney sweeney doing her best the professor kind of gets a little hokey it gets a little it gets a little not that you know like uh kind of cartoon villainy you know but sydney sweeney sells this movie she's an amazing actress uh, um uh, honestly directing I like the directing. It's it wasn't bad. Um, it, it wasn't the best. You know, this is the same guy that made Voyeurs, which if you haven't seen Voyeurs, that's on Prime. And if you like Sydney Sweeney in this movie, you'll love Sydney Sweeney in that movie. Oh man, I'm glad they worked again together. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh it's okay. It's it's okay directed. It's not the best. Again, uh, in my opinion, the ending really really kind of is like there's this one scene in the at the end where. It really sells it for me, uh, especially Sydney Sweeney's acting ability in it. It's just literally like, I think, I don't know, five minutes of her on camera, close up, uh, acting, let's put it that way. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, all the other stuff, the story towards the end, it was kind of like, meh. And so, I don't know, I don't know. Um, sound design and score was okay, but nothing memorable, whatever. So I'm going to take it for sound design and score because it was just okay, you know. And, uh, cinematography was alright, the acting I think was great. I might think it on the premise, story plot and premise as well, I'm gonna give it like a half point. And, uh, the directing, I'll give it a half point as well. So I'm gonna say half for story, so that's, uh, half for design, so that's one. Cinematography, I'll give it a full, so that's two. Acting, I'll give it a full, so that's three. And then half for directing, so 3.5. I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5. Let me know what you guys think about Immaculate. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on streaming soon. I'm not sure where. Uh, I think it's going to go to Shudder, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's Immaculate. Now we're going to do Anyone But You. I really enjoyed this movie, just straight off the bat. But uh, let's go. So, story plot and premise. It's a rom-com. These guys don't like each other. Then towards the end of the movie, they might like each other. You never know. They, or might not. You know, that that's the toss-up of the rom-com. It's really good. It's really well played. I like the reasons that they don't like each other and then the reasons that they do like each other and then the reasons that they don't like each other again. Like, I like that stuff. It was it was pretty well done. Uh, um, the, sun, the sound design and score. Uh, I mean, if you really like the song Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield, then you're going to love this movie because that song is all over this movie to the point where it kind of got annoying a little bit. 
Uh, but this guy is the same guy that made Easy A, and he did the other Natasha Bedingfield song, which I felt he used a lot better in that one because they're both earworms. But I feel like in this one it just became grating. Um, but yeah, sound design score is good. Uh, cinematography is really good. I like the location is like a nice you know Australia. It's uh, but towards like the the like the beach side or the the, the, the the side where it faces the ocean. It's really good. It's a nice location. Um, the acting is actually really good. All the people in this were really well acted. I believe their characters uh, from Sydney Sweeney to Glenn Powell, both of them, like really, they work well off each other. They should work on stuff again. And uh, the directing, it was okay. You know, it was really well helmed. It, nothing really thing. The ending again. Uh, the, no, the ending was good. The ending was good. It was... It was, I feel I feel like it was a bit rushed, like towards the end of how the resolutions of everything, but it was alright. So, uh, wow, do I want to give this movie a five out of five? I think I do. It's a rom com, but it's a good rom com. I'm not gonna lie. It's I like I like me a good rom com sometimes, and it's enjoyable. If you don't got nothing else to do, it's on Netflix. It's not gonna make you feel bad, and you know Sydney Sweeney's in it again. If you love Sydney Sweeney you know, and Glenn Powell too, you know they they show a lot of men in this movie too, you know, so, uh, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5, wow, I surprised myself, I'm giving this movie a 5 out of 5, guys, it's not bad at all, check it out when you can, uh, ooh, trailer's still going, this is the first time I actually finished before the trailer, that's crazy, um, but yeah, uh, it's on Netflix, guys, check it out, uh, and again, Voyeurs, if you haven't checked out Voyeurs on Prime, another Sydney Sweeney, which I should review, actually, did I review it? Yeah, whatever, we'll see. Anyway, uh, this has been <laughs> another useless skill.